Welcome to part one of Business Planning with Susan. I hope you enjoy the session. Basically what we want to go over is having a business plan and a road map to somewhere. There's a lot of successful people that might not have something in writing, but they could, could have been a lot more successful if they had it in writing. Um, if you're going to say, I want to go someplace fun, I want to go on a trip, I want to do something, and you get in your car and you start driving and you just keep looking for something that looks like fun. Where am I going to stop? What am I going to do? You might eventually find something that's fun and that you want to do and you might just keep driving and driving and never get there. Now what if you said, I want to go to Disneyland. Now you have an end goal where you want to get to, but you don't look at a map, you don't think about what road you're going to have to take, you don't even know how to get there, so you just start randomly driving and driving and driving and the next thing you know you're in New York. You're like, well how did that happen? I needed to get to Disneyland. And then you're like, okay, no way. I want to get to Disneyland and I'm going to get a map. And I'm going to plot it out on this map. And I'm going to go. And then you can get there. But what if you take it a step further and you say along the way I want to stop and I'm going to go to Georgia and then I'm going to stop in Texas and then I'm going to stop in Vegas and then I'm going to get to California. What if you pinpointed all these other things? How much better would your trip be? A lot, a lot better. You had a plan. So that's where we want to go. We want to go with the first thing that you really need to look at is your big picture. Where do you want to be from this time next year? From today, and I always do from today to 12 months out because you know we're at the end of the qu last quarter now. It's kind of hard to project and really get things going. I mean, you know, if you get something in a contract today, you're not getting paid for 30 or 60 days. It's a short sale, maybe longer. So we want to project from today to next year. So just think about how much money you would like to net. That's what you're going to put in your pocket from today to this time next year. And write a number down. You don't have to show me or tell me or anything. Just write down a number of what you'd like to earn. Now write down your numbers. Take a moment, stop the recording, and write down your numbers. This is a very important step. See you in a minute. So, the next part of this is balance. Now that you have your numbers, everyone has things that they like to do, things that are important to them. Some people's religion or their spirituality is really important to them. Other people, it's their family. Other people, it's their time for themselves. Think about what's important to you and write that down. What's your number one important thing? If it's a lifestyle thing, you like to travel, if you like, you know, what is it, other, some of these things that you like to do? It doesn't have to be one thing. I would, I would add, you know, two or three things down. Try to put them in order is, you know, your spirituality, your first thing, your family, your next thing, um, some kind of hobby you have, your third thing, your continuing education. What, what is it that, why you're working so hard? why you need to make this money, what, it, what, it, what kind of lifestyle is that going to give you? What if you had all the money in the world, what would you be doing? What would be you? Who here now has have, have currently has a time blocking schedule where they know from one hour to the next what exactly they're going to be doing every day? How many have had one of them ever? Okay. This is so important. And it doesn't matter. I prefer the time blocking plan. You block things in an hour, two hours, however many hours. You know exactly what you're going to be doing during that time frame. However, there's other ways you can do it. You can have a checklist each day of things that must get done, things that you'd like to get done, things that you know you prioritize. These three things must be done today or I'm going to be a failure. These three things I would love to get done by tomorrow. And these three things, if they did, that would be great. If they don't, they can go to tomorrow. You have to have something. I'm going to just talk about the time blocking schedule because I'm such a big fan of it. Um, you should know what you're going to do. If you know that, let's just say you time block Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from you know 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. that that's your your time, something that you're going to do. There should never be any appointments in that time. There shouldn't be. You are in control of your business and you should have those blocked off. So the first thing we want to do is block off your personal time. If there's a whole day in the week that you do not want to work, it's a Saturday, a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, whatever day, you're going to mark through that whole day and say, this is my day. What you do with that is up to you. 
and if somebody wants needs you or wants you, you say, I'm unavailable. You don't have to tell them what you're doing, why you're doing it. It's just, I am unavailable. I can meet you this day or that time or whatever. But you need to block off the important things because it's so easy to get on one way or another. Like you might be going on, okay, making a lot of money. I need to work, you know, 18 hours a day every day, and this is great. There's going to be a point where you're going to crash, and you're going to go backwards, and you're going to say, yeah, I got out of balance. This happened, and everybody does it, and you're going to do it from time to time. It's really hard to keep on a plan, but you're going to do your best. And the more, the more time you do it, the more weeks that you go by where you're sticking with this plan, it's going to become a habit, and it's going to be easier to do it. It's going to be like in the morning when you get up, and what do you do? Do you get up, you go hit your alarm clock three times, that's me. Okay. <laughs> Then you get up, you know, I go wake up my little man, it's time to get up, you know, and then I go get him in the shower, get me in the shower, you know, brush teeth. I mean, you have a routine. Most people have some kind of routine every morning. Your whole day can be a routine. There's no reason why you don't, you, you're going to have a routine for the first hour or two hours of your day or the last hour of your day and then the rest of the day, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. It depends. You know, is Trish going to call me with a lead? Is, you know, my cousin going to call and want to see a house? You know, my neighbor wants to go sell his house. You have to have a plan. Hi, it's me again, reminding you to take the time, pause the video, and make a plan. If you don't have a time blocking schedule, email me. I'll email you mine. It's Susan at SusanMilner.com. I have it in either on a Mac in Numbers, or I can save it in Excel for you to work off of. Um, if you don't have anything, you can take a sheet of paper, write down, you know, Sunday through Saturday, start it. Remember, put in your personal, the important things first. We're going to fill in the appointments, the prospecting, the rest of your business in later. So, see you shortly. Thanks.